Hi there everyone, uh, I'm coming up with a new video which is about uh, the Bollinger Bands and the strategy based on Bollinger Bands. So let's get started. Uh, in this video I'm going to cover what are the Bollinger Bands and how do they typically work. Um, uh, Bollinger Bands are one of the very accurate indicators around but there is a specific way to use it and I'll cover that in this particular video. I'm also going to share a uh, Bollinger Band based strategy that can be used in Forex market. And in the end, I'm going to cover some important points which you should remember when using the Bollinger Bands. So let's look at the next slide. Uh, Bollinger Bands indicate if the currency pair is overbought or oversold. So this is more like a, a oscillator kind of indicator, which basically tells if the market is in overbought situation or in the oversold situation. It is based on the moving average and a standard deviation. For example, if you look here. Uh, this is uh, these two lines, the blue lines, these are the Bollinger Band envelope and the one in the middle, the red line, uh, this is called the uh, moving average. So when you are setting up the Bollinger Band, what you do is you typically set up the value of the moving average that you want to put and the standard deviation. So the our, um, uh, what is the standard de deviation? I'll uh, cover in, a, in just one minute. But these two lines basically indicate if it is an overall situation or is it an understood. So when the currency pair, for example, is touching this particular level, it is considered it is in the overbought uh, overbought uh, condition. And when the currency pair is touching here, it is considered to be in a uh, oversold situation. So these are the parameters which are used by the traders to decide whether they should open a particular trade or close a particular day trade, buy a currency pair or sell a currency pair. So Bollinger Band is very accurate, but it is best to use in conjunction with uh, some other variables and I'll tell you the reason for that. When the market moves strongly in one direction, the upper and the lower bands they spread out. For example, if you look here, the market is moving in this particular direction and the Bollinger Bands are quite apart, right? But when the currency pair moves in a range, for example, if you look here, when it moves in a range, the Bollinger Bands close and they start forming some kind of neck. So if you look here, this is quite broad, but gradually the current the Bollinger Bands are contracting. It is just some uh, like it is you know about uh, it is like form, forming a neck here. So when a neck is there, a neck is formed, it is typically considered that the currency pair will start moving in a particular direction very soon. So if you see here, the Bollinger Band has formed a neck, and after that, very shortly, it started moving in this direction. One of the most famous Bollinger Band setting is 20 moving, 20 moving average with two standard deviation. So this line is a 20 moving average and this line is plus two standard deviation and this line is minus two standard deviation. So why 20 moving average is considered to be uh, or rather why 20 moving average is very popular? It is because in a particular month uh, there are 20 trading days or if you look in a particular day there are 24 hours but 20, 20 hours are considered to be very most active hours and 4 hours are considered to be passive hours. Similarly, in a month, even though the foreign currency pair is considered to be uh, running 6 days a week, still Saturday or uh, rather late Friday and some part of Sunday, the, there is hardly any volatility in the market. So effectively, there are 20 trading days. So basically, 20 period moving average uh, kind of represents what has happened in the last one trading session. That trading session can be one particular day if you are for example trading on a uh, one hour chart or it can be uh, one particular month if you are trading on a daily chart. The two standard deviation is used because it provides a 90% probability. If you look at the bell curve, uh, the bell curve indicates that uh, in the 90% like two standard deviation will encompass 90% of scenarios. So here is another thing I wanted to mention. When currency pair is moving in a range, the Bollinger Bands are very accurate but when currency pair is moving in a particular direction they are not as accurate. For example, the most of the traders how they trade is when the Bollinger Bands uh, the, sorry the currency pair hits a, a, a particular Bollinger Band they will open a trade and as soon as it basically reaches the other level the other uh, Bollinger Band they will close the trade. But look here the Bollinger Band has for example if a trader for example has opened a trade here the Bollinger Band trend hits here. Should the closer, uh, trader close the trade, they typically can. But if you look here, the Bollinger Band, the Bollinger Band keeps, uh, the currency pair keeps moving in this particular direction. 
and any trader who would have closed that trade here, they would have missed out on about, let's say, I think 150 to 175 pips. So, when the currency pair is moving in a range, Bollinger Bands are very accurate, but when currency pair is moving in a particular direction, they are not as accurate. But the trading strategy I am going to share with you, it works amazingly well in both scenarios. So, let's look at the uh, trading strategy. So, here I have set up a Euro USD uh, uh, a Euro USD chart. Uh, this is a one hour chart. And if you look here, uh, this is a 20 moving average with two standard deviation. I have also plotted a, another moving average called 100 exponential moving average. And the reason I have done that is because if the currency pair is going to be above 100 moving average, I recommend you to open the trades which are long. If the currency pair is below 100 moving average, the trades should be short trade. Uh, this should not be 50 AMA, this should be 100 AMA. I am sorry for the typo here. So, when the currency pair is above 100 EMA, as soon as the currency pair bounces from the lower moving average, Bollinger Band, or 20 moving average, that, that means the middle line, open a buy trade. For example, if you look here, now here the currency pair is above this 100 moving average. So, the, here the currency pair bounces of this lower band. It starts going up and it hits the upper band right here. So, the trader could have opened the trade for example here and closed the trade here and ended up about with 35 pips profit. Now, if you look here, this is another area where the trade could have been opened but this candle basically touches the upper target right away. So, this is not a valid setup. But here, the currency pair again bounces from the uh, 20 moving average, the red line and hits here, another 35 pips profit. But now here, here the currency, the price has come below the 100 moving average and but at the same time it has bounced, it has hit the 20 moving average also. So, another potential area to open the trade and the trade could have been closed right here. One more important point, the stop loss in all these scenarios should be 30 pips. 30 pips will put somewhere here and which can, which can be considered as a very tight uh, stop loss and very uh, efficient stop loss. Another thing, the trade should be closed when the candlestick touches the upper bar, uh, sorry, the opposite uh, Bollinger Band. The only exception is when the candle, for example, in this particular scenario, the candle breaks outside, outside the or closes outside the Bollinger Band. In all these scenarios, the candle has closed inside the, it has hit the Bollinger Band and closed. But in this scenario, it has expanded beyond the Bollinger Band, which means there is still some, still some strength in the uh, currency pair to continue moving in this particular direction. So, this closes uh, outside, even this one closes outside, but the next one is a very strong bullish candle. So, the trade should be closed here. So, this is a very simple effective strategy. Again, the important thing to remember is, the long trade should be taken when the currency pair is above the 100 exponential moving average and the short trades should be taken only when the currency pair is below the 100 moving average and the stop loss has to be 30 pips. So, now let us, let me also cover some important points. Like I mentioned earlier, Bollinger bands cannot be used independently. You should use a supporting indicator like, such as a candlestick or a moving average. Like in, uh, in the strategy I just showed you, we use the 100 exponential moving average. It works well on all uh, charts of all time frames, but the accuracy is very high on time frame of 30 minutes of and or above, like 30 minute chart, 1 hour chart, 4 minute chart, daily chart, because there the noise is very less. And to use the Bollinger Bands effectively, you must learn the candlesticks also. So, here is my free gift to you, um, considering that you have watched this uh, video uh, by investing your time. Uh, so, I am going to give you two highly effective forex candlestick patterns that work extremely well with uh, Bollinger Bands and also with Fibonacci levels. So, if you use the Fibonacci levels or if you are planning to use the Bollinger Bands, you should take a look at these two effective uh, forex candlestick patterns. I am also going to tell you the one serious candlestick mistake that 50% plus traders make. And I am also going to share with you another highly accurate forex trading strategy which is based on candlestick. So, all you need to do is 
visit my website forestcandlestickmagic.com or simply click here and uh, I'll uh, give this free gift to you and then uh, you can use that to uh, improve the accuracy of your trading. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, don't forget to click this link uh, forexcandlestickmagic.com or simply click here and I'll see you, I'll see you on my website. Thank you.